What's up, everybody? It's the blind bearded chef Zeke. That is me, y'all. That is me. Trying to do something with this beard, huh? It's getting too long. I'm gonna do something with it. But today, I'm about to do a classic recipe: boudin, Cajun boudin. Here in Louisiana, we make it all kind of ways. We do our the original boudin with the pork liver and the Boston butt. You got crawfish boudin. You got crab. You got all kind of boudin now. I even seen the kind that they make with cauliflower for the rice, and they make it vegetarian or something like this. So, but today I'm going to do this. I have not made boudin by myself since. I've been blind. I've been blind for 16 years, so I haven't made boudin by my I haven't made boudin in 16 years. Usually I come from the part of the country from Palmetto Lebo, where we used to have big old busheries and we used to kill four to five hogs and you do the chitlings, you do the cracklings, you do the boudin, you do you use everything on the hog, hog head cheese. But I'm gonna go back to my roots. <laughs> And show y'all how to do a classic boudin recipe. It's a long process because it takes a little while to cook the meat down. Then you got to grind it when you do the right rice to pork ratio. And um, you season it to your taste. You can have it spicy. I like mine. It's a little spicy but not too hot. But I'm going to show y'all everything from start to finish. I'm going to start at my house. And I'm going to finish it at my mom's house so my brother can show me how to use my... Um, my new sausage stuff for which is automatics because back in the day we had the hand crank we had the hand crank meat grinders and hand crank it into the um into the casing so and also people that's not from here pronounce it right some of y'all be saying boudin 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 it's boudin b-o-u-d-i-n boudin b-o-u boo so just say boo b-o-o boo Damn, you gotta put that down there. Even though it's D-I-N here in the Louisiana country, we say boudin. So call it boudin. And not all the other stuff y'all be saying. Boudin, boudin, boudin. <laughs> boudin. <laughs> yeah. Let's start this recipe, y'all. <laughs> all right, I'm finally finished prepping. Okay, you know when we used to do this in the country, we didn't measure anything, so I'm gonna give y'all a measurement. Right here is a six pound Boston butt, okay? That's a six pound Boston butt right there, pork shoulder, okay? Most people don't like liver, but liver go in your booty. This is one pound of pork liver. If you can't find pork liver, you can use chicken liver. I found this pork liver in Opelousas at a um, meat market called Mesh. So that's some pork liver. Pork liver kind of strong, but this is my hog casings. I got this from my Palooses. It's cured in salt. Um, this comes from a place in my called Targel. They specialize in everything you need for boudin and sausages, equipment. So that's what you need, that right there. Okay, let me see what I got right here. Right here, what this is, right here, this is three, um, three medium-sized green bell peppers, okay? Right here, this is three medium onions, yellow onions, okay? Right here. This is nine, right? This is nine to ten um, garlic cloves. So pretty much one clove of garlic. That's about nine toes. Okay. Right here. This is two stalks of celery. Um, right here. This is three bunches three bunches of chopped green onions. Okay. Uh, what else I have? Right here, this is one bunch of parsley, fresh parsley, chopped up. 
and this is the season we're going to use. If you want to use your regular Cajun season, you can with some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, white pepper, salt, or something like that. But right here, I'm using this seasoning right here. I also bought this from Targel in Opelousas. So majority of my stuff came from Opelousas. Hope y'all can see the bag. Okay, this is boudin seasoning. This is for 25 pounds of boudin. We're not doing 25 pounds, so I'm not gonna use this whole bag. All right, all right. Let me show y'all the first step. All right, also get you some Tony Sasha. I wanna, um, I want to lightly season my Boston butt before I sear it. So let me flip it this way. So let me sprinkle just a, just lightly sprinkle it just a little bit. And we still got to season, use our other season, so. Wrap all that on there. So lightly season your Boston butt. I was just gonna go by your taste. I got my pot, I got it heating up, okay. Now we're gonna put our roast in here. We're gonna put fat side down. Just like that. Hope my pot be big enough. Okay. So we're about to let this brown on this side, then we're gonna flip it over and let it brown the other side. Now that it's brown on both sides, see it's brown on this side here, and it's brown on that side. Okay, I can take it out the pot. Put it back in our tray. Be right back. See at the bottom of the pot, we, the bottom of the pot, we got a little brown pieces down there. Let's put in our onion. I said, I hope my pot big enough. So making Buddha as a process, y'all. See, back in the day, we had busheries, and you would kill four and five and six hogs at a time. But you had the whole community and stuff would come and help you make hog head cheese and Buddha. Everybody got a piece of the meat. Did the chilling. So, put that onion in there. I'm going to put the bell pepper. I know there's a lot of seasoning, but it's going to cook down. Because this is going to have to cook down for about three hours. About three, three and a half hours. Until that bone come out of that, um, come out of that roast. Okay, let me stir this in here right quick. Okay, let's add our celery in there. Okay. Add our celery. And let's add a handful of, um, let's add a handful of some of that green onion. And we'll put the rest in last. Okay, and let's add a little parsley. Let's add a handful of parsley. Okay. Put that in here. And what I'm about to do, I'm about to put the, um, I'm about to, about to put the top on here and let, um, uh, We're gonna put the top on here and let this saute down for about five minutes. All right, it's been about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna go and add my garlic to this. And 
I'm going to add my pork liver. Let that pork liver start sauteing in there. I cut the pork liver in smaller pieces. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is going to be good right here. Oh, it's been a long time since I did this. Lord have mercy. I know I haven't did this. I haven't made Buddha since I've been blind. And I've been blind for almost 16 years. But you don't forget. All right. That liver in there. So we're going to let that liver cook down there a little bit. Okay, we can put the top on it. All right. This all then saute down. Let's put the um let's put the Boston butt back into the pot. I'm just gonna grab it. Okay, put it back into the pot. Start off by putting a half a gallon of water in here. We actually wanna cover we wanna cover the meat. So I might put another gallon, I might put another half a gallon and see if my water level is. Yeah, let me put a little more water. See my water level here. Go by my hand, kind of feel it by my. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Mm, almost there. Okay, right there. So that's one gallon of water. And I'm going to put in a half a cup of that seasoning. Half a cup of that Buddha seasoning. Just sprinkle it in there. Okay. Let me give it a let me give it a stir. All right. I'm gonna let this come to a boil and I'm gonna let this simmer for about three hours and 30 minutes. All right, y'all. See y'all in three minutes, three hours and 30 minutes. We wanna boil this until that bone, this meat get tender enough that that bone can come out. All right. Look at that Boston butt then broke down. And that pork liver in there. Look at that. I didn't bother. I didn't bother bone off the meat. So I'm about to turn this off. Let it cool. Look how tender that meat is. Put in the grinder. Put my rice, my green onion, a little more seasoning. My boot and shy. All right. I just took it off of the um, burner. It took three hours and 10 or three hours and 15 minutes. Let me show y'all. Look at that. See everything that broke down. So y'all can see that meat that fell off the bone. Now somewhere in here, I got another fork that fell up in here. I wish I could find it. I'll find it once it cool. Well, try, is this it right here? That's a bone. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find that fork. Is this it right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that shit hot. Damn. Look at that fork that fell. I was looking for this fork. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. Got it off. Woo. I was looking for that fork. <laughs> okay. See. 
So the meat has fallen off the bone. See how that is? Now, some people don't grind theirs. Some people take theirs and shred it and put in their boot in. Not me. I don't I don't like stringy boot in. So I'm gonna do the traditional way of um grinding in my grinder. I have an electric grinder. But meanwhile, get your tongues and get these bones out of here. So show y'all that bone. Ooh, that bone hot. Now see that? I'll get the rest of the meat off of it later. So let's take that bone out. That also put flavor. That's why I, that's why I keep that bone in mind. I, you can cut the meat off the bone and just do the meat like this, but that but that bone brings so much flavor to your stock. Okay? It's another bone in here somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna find this other bone that I'm gonna let this cool off. Let me go cook my rice. I'm using medium grain rice. There go the other bone. I'll get the rest of that meat off later. I'm using medium grain rice, so let me go cook the rice. Everybody should know how to cook rice. Two to one. Two cups of, uh, one cup of rice to two cups of water. Okay, let me go, let me let this cool up. Let me go cook my rice. All right, child, you wanna strain that meat from the juice. So I got my, um. I got my strainer right here and I got inside this bowl. And so that way, all I have to do is pour. Pour it in my strainer. And we should be good. All this that's going in that strainer is what's going to be, going to be mixed. I mean, going to be ground up. All right, I got my mixer set up. I'm about to grind up the um, meat into the bowl. Show you how you do this right quick. <laughs> y'all look how much meat this made that's a whole pan of meat so this is gonna make a lot of boudin when i add the rice to it all right next step gonna add the rice to it and the green onion and a little of the broth if we need it all right all right i took some of the meat out on adding the rice so with this part right here you got you just got to go with your consistency you got to go by how much rice you want to meat ratio so i took some of the meat out if i have to add some more meat to it i will so just Go by your ratio, how you want it, more meaty or more ricey. Okay, I put a little parsley in there, and I just added two bunches of chopped green onions. So I'm about to stir this together. All right, I put a little more seasoning in here, y'all. I'm about to put some of this um, broth in here so it won't be dry. All right, we're gonna mix this up. Okay, let's mix this up. That go to mixture, it's all mixed up. Now I'm about to put the casings on the um, on the stuffer and stuff it um, into the casings. Be right back. I'm gonna put the casing on the stuffer right here. So you make sure you put your casing all the way to the end of the stuffer. And we're doing this on the same grinder that we grinded with. You just take the blade out and the um, plate out and you put the stuffer at the end. And this one here is the electric. So you don't have to do old school if you got an old school grinder, you can, but this here is new school. <laughs> All right, y'all see the blue that pushing through the casing? This how it's supposed to be. See right here, y'all? This is my first set. They gave me nine links. And I'll go by how long your intestines are. So see, they gave me nine links of blue that, and I'm about to do the rest. All right. There we go. That's the finale. 
This made 18 links, and that was just off of one casing. So, there we go, y'all. All right, I just put me two links in the oven. You can grill it. You can put it on your smoker um, for about mm, two to about a two hours, on about 225, if you want to. You can steam it, or you can do like I did. I put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. So it's gonna crisp the skin up. Some people don't like the intestines or, or the casings or whatever, but um, you're gonna eat boudin, you know, you can squeeze it out of the casings or you can do like I do, put it in the oven, let it crisp up some. Or you can put it in the skillet and fry some too to get the casings crispy. So you can bite the whole thing. So. We'll do a taste test in a few minutes. All right, there go my boo there, and we gonna taste it. All right, y'all, time to taste. Give me a little juice. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is good. I still know how to do it, baby. Mm, mm. Yeah. You can eat the casings like this. See, that casings is tender. Oh, my goodness. The spice. Mm, I taste my cayenne pepper. Mm, mm, mm. You can eat this with some crackers. Mm, mm. Mm. Hot. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there's some good boo there now, Shaq. Ha ha. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mm. All right. This is how we do it in Louisiana, baby. <laughs> That's no state like us. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>